Indie Mogul. Hello everyone and welcome to BFX and our ongoing search for a new host. By now you should know what's going on. We asked anyone who wanted to take over this show to create an audition episode. And over the past month, we've been airing our favorites to get your opinion. This week we have an epic build from indie moguler, Mike Smith. For this audition episode, Mike is joined by his faithful sidekick, Tech the Robot, and together they build one hell of a jetpack. So please sit back and enjoy all the hard work that Mike and Tech put into this episode, and when you're done, let us know how you thought they did by leaving a comment down below. Roll it! You are watching Backyard Effects here on Indie Mogul. Please stand by. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to another exciting episode of Backyard Effects, the number one show on the web for do-it-yourself effects on the cheap. My name is Mike Smith, this is Tech the Robot, my co-host. Greetings, human viewers. You know, Tech here is an amazing machine. From his humble beginnings as my old vacuum cleaner, he has evolved into a sophisticated tool capable of- Hey, who are you calling a tool? Uh, sorry about that, Tech. What I meant is that we're going to use your powerful robot brain to figure out exactly what's going into this build and exactly how much it's going to cost. Okay, that is true. I am awesome. So, let's get started. You know, back in the golden age of Backyard Effects, when Eric Beck still hosted this show... We are starting a campaign... Why did he have to leave, Ted? Why?! Eric made this sweet spacesuit and helmet combination. Well, today we're going to take that out, dust it off, and make an awesome jetpack to go with it. Come on, get out your spacesuit. You know you made one. You do realize that you look ridiculous in that thing. Alright, Tech, you've done the research on this one. Let's see how much we're going to spend on this build. Please stand by. Calculating. Calculations complete. Project cost. Forty-seven point two million dollars. Uh, Tech, that seems a little high. We're gonna be making a prop jetpack, like a pretend one, you know, you'd use in a cheap, cheesy movie. We're not making a real one that's gonna fly or anything. Oh. By my calculations, that should run, like, ten bucks. I think we have a few more kinks to work out with Tech. If you are so smart, do it yourself, Shorty. Hey, what's with the attitude lately, Tech? You know, I made you, but I can unmake you. Oh, yeah? You, and what, army? Taste my lightsaber, human. Uh-huh, okay, we're gonna take a little break while I deal with this robot uprising situation. One of us will be back to walk through this build. Get into the dark side. Build, I used four 2 liter soda bottles, a plastic pasta strainer, an ice cream bucket, the fan from an old computer, seatbelt material, a plastic easter egg in two halves, half a large plastic easter egg, an empty yogurt carton, the grill for the computer fan, a sheet of plywood, two sheets of styrofoam, a roll of duct tape, construction adhesive, a plastic pipe hanging strap, an old garden hose, hot glue, black plastic tubing, black plastic wire wrap, a hollow plastic ball, putty, metallic spray paints, dark primer, and sandpaper. Hey Andy Mogul, I'm Third Floor Productions and this is a 10 second trailer to my new short film called Public Service. Take your cigarette butts back! Oh, Action. Whoa! Mike, don't work here. Was uh, Green Eggs and Ham a TV show? Simple time lock. Woo! I began by tracing the shape of the ice cream bucket onto the plywood and used those lines to cut out a hole. I then used the plywood to trace lines onto the styrofoam and cut those out. After test fitting the bucket, strainer, and fan, I traced the shape of the fan onto the bottom of the ice cream bucket and cut out a hole for it. The fan was to be a functional part of the smoke effect, so I ensured that it drew air into the bucket. I attached the foam to the wood with construction adhesive and also the bucket to the inside of the hole, making sure that the lid could still snap onto the bucket. Then I glued the fan in place. The idea for the bucket in the intake, stick whatever smoke making material you want inside. The fan draws air in from the outside and pushes the smoke out the exhaust ports. 
I traced lines onto the second sheet of foam and cut that out. Applied more adhesive and attached that sheet of foam onto the other side of the plywood. Using a pair of tin snips, I removed the lip from the pasta strainer. Since my strainer had a crack in the bottom, I decided to cut the entire bottom off. Fortunately for me, the grill for the fan fit exactly over the top of this hole. I took the two bottles with the most interesting shapes and used those for the bottom of the rockets. First, I cut the screw threads off of the top of the bottle, leaving the large flange. I cut each of the other bottles in half. The top half is used to extend the length of the rocket. The bottom half is again cut in half and used as a type of directional flap that moves up and down at the end of the rockets. I used hot glue and a length of pipe hanging strap to attach the two bottles together. This made the seam quite strong and added a little decorative flair. With the basic shape of the rockets done, I applied dark primer to these surfaces. This dark primer will help the metallic spray paint adhere and look great. I cut an interesting contour into the directional fin and applied primer to them as well. Now it was time to cut and shape the yogurt container. Folded plastic can create a realistic appearance of folded sheet metal. I coated this and the plastic easter eggs with primer. I decided to attach half a plastic ball to the top of each rocket for a nice rounded edge where we cut off the nozzle. Again I used pipe hanging strap and hot glue to attach this to the nozzle. Now it was time to attach the various plastic parts together with hot glue. I decided I wanted less of a boxy look and traced a line around the top half of the jetpack then used a jigsaw to cut around these lines. Looking back it would have been easier to do this at the beginning before attaching the styrofoam and plywood together. Using a long jigsaw blade really helped here. About this time I decided the top half of the jetpack made for a convincing looking spaceship and I got distracted for a little playtime. I shaped the edge of the styrofoam with a saw and covered the edges with duct tape. For additional flare, I glued pipe strap all around the edges. The fun begins with the application of metallic spray paint to all these surfaces. I used a gold base coat for the plastic housing and copper for the insides of the intake. I covered the copper colored air intake and painted the main jetpack body gold. I sprayed all of the gold surfaces with a light coating of copper spray paint to give it a more interesting metallic look. I really wanted the rounded ends of the rockets to stand out, so I masked the bottom half and painted the top half silver. An interesting afterthought would have been to attach these rounded tips to electric motors so they would spin like an engine turbine or put lights inside to make them glow. Applying spray paint to styrofoam leaves an interesting pitted look. To enhance this look, I applied black latex paint onto the surface, and then dabbed it up with a paper towel. The tips of the rockets and the grill for the fan were finally attached with hot glue. Now it was time to attach the straps. The straps were screwed to the bottom of the pack, and small lengths of pipe hanging strap were screwed to the top to allow the straps to adjust. I brushed on black latex paint to the bottommost portion of the rockets. I attached various lengths of black tubing to conceal edges between joints and for an improved cosmetic look. A quick note about hot glue. For this project it's best to use a low temperature glue gun because the plastic from the soda bottles melts pretty easily. To attach the guidance fins, I drilled holes in the corners and attached them to the rockets using pop rivets. Next I drilled a large hole through the ice cream container and a matching hole through the strainer and into the rocket bottles. This was done to allow me to insert a small section of garden hose from the smoke chamber through the rockets and to the exhaust port. I planned to attach a small container inside the ice cream bucket to fill with dry ice and water. This will create a simple smoke effect for filmmaking, parties, or other occasions. The top half of the pack was glued to the bottom half and some black plastic wire wrap was attached around the top of the strainer as a final accent. Finally, it was time to try on the jetpack and fasten the straps up front. The large plastic easter egg was applied to the junction of the various straps. While I was at it, I sprayed these goggles, these boots, and this air respirator to match. General, we found your man. He's unemployed. He spends a lot of time playing video games. Yeah. Mr. Smith? Hey, if this is about the unemployment paperwork, I can explain that. We're not here about that. There's been an incident in space. The country needs your help. You do currently hold the online record for Galaxy, right? Yeah, I didn't realize that was such a marketable skill. Maybe I should have put that on my resume. The government has been perfecting a one-man space flight suit. Like a jetpack? The controls are based on the Galaxy Man video game. The Einstein the suit was designed for is shrunk at the dry cleaners trying to get out of mustard stain. We need someone a little more travel-sized. 
Okay, I'm in. Let's do it. Put this on first. We reduce the chance of truly evaporating when you leave the atmosphere. Reduce? Oh hey, you're back. Hope you enjoyed the show. Oh, don't worry, he'll be back before you know it. He's seen a lot worse. Speaking of coming back, if you liked what you saw, and you'd like to see us again, please leave a comment down below for the folks at Indie Mogul telling them you would like us to be the next host of Backyard Effects. Well, that's all for this episode. Dad, Mom wants to know where the spaghetti strainer is. Gotta go!